Hello everyone, my name is Cristina Arana and the movie that I decided to watch was um, Ni de aquí ni de allá by La India Maria. I chose this movie because I grew up in Mexico. I actually came to the United States when I was 15 years old. So all my childhood I was in Mexico. I grew up with my parents, with my grandpa, with the person that used to take care of me. So everyone will always play movies by La India Maria, Cantin Flas, Capulina, um, well, Pedro Infante. So even I feel like I just love the way that they represent Mexico. I love Mexico. I love being in Mexico. I love the people. I I love my cultura. So I think that they represent Mexico and Latino Americanos just by so many things that happen to them. Like they make it seem like in fun way, which is like something that I really love from Mexico. I believe that we can make uh, a joke out of something that we should not even laughing about. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, so I decided to watch Ani de aquí ni de allá by Linda Maria. This is something, this is a movie that I really love because I came to, the, how I said, I came to the United States when, States when I was 15. So there was a point in my life that I was like, wait, like I'm actually Mexican. Like I was born and raised in Mexico, but I love the way that, I love being in the United States. This is something that um actually I enjoy. And even though I miss my country, I miss my people, I feel like now I'm used to being here. So there was a point where I was like, when people ask me, hey, where are you from? I'm like, I had like a lot of things come to my mind. Like, well, I was born and raised in Mexico, but I came here. I'm actually from Zacapo, Michoacan. Now I'm, I live in Ceres. So it's a lot going on, but it's like my mom is not even from the place that I was born at. My dad is not from there either. So it's just kind of like a mixture, like, okay, like my parents are from this place. I was born right, I was born in Mexico, but I came here. So I always tell everyone my story when they ask me, hey, where are you from? Because I think that it's like a hard question for me. So um, some I wrote down the things that stood out to me while watching the movie, which it was how at the beginning, La India Maria, when it came we need to come to the United States because um, there was a lot of, um, there was not like a good economy in Mexico, which I think this is why a lot of people actually immigrate. This is why many of us came to the United States looking for an opportunity. And something that catch my attention was how her grandpa, he said que he didn't want her to come to the United States porque aquí le iban a cambiar. Because ella iba a cambiar, um, la iban a discriminar, she was going to get discriminated, um, they were going to, like, they were not going to treat her good, and she was going to struggle a lot, but she wanted to come, try out her luck, and she wanted, like, start making money, so they could buy a tractor in Mexico, and she had all, all these dreams that, that's why she left her family behind, to pursue her dreams and achieve so many things, so, um, that was something that, Right at the beginning, I could relate to. I came to the United States looking for an opportunity. I came to the United States to give my family a better future. Now that I have my baby, I want to keep like living here in the United States because I think that there's a lot of opportunities here as well as in Mexico. It's just that it's a little bit harder over there, I think, for succeed. So another thing that catch my attention was when he she mentioned um, how proud she was of wearing the dress. Um... So she will not want to like take up um her vestido. She didn't want it to change. That's just how she is. She's so proud and she loves to represent the cultura and I just love that. <laughs> so um something that I also catch my attention was how the police once she came to the United States with um like the police thought that she was peligrosa just cause she will not act as other people will but i think that it was just so ignorancia it's not that she was trying to like do something bad she wasn't trying she would she just wanted to work but that's how a lot of latino americanos and mexicanos um one well like we're not criminals we don't want anything that just work so they consider her um peligrosa porque se vestía como india this is something that i was like how can they think that just by the way that you dress because you don't you dress a little different that doesn't mean anything so i think that was like a discriminate discrimination sorry my spanish and my english get mixed <laughs> mixed up all the time <laughs> so um ella estaba orgullosa de su vestimenta ella estaba orgullosa de sus trenzas ella estaba orgullosa de su hermoso vestido so yeah that's something that i love from her and about the movie
also how hard working she is she had so many jobs in that movie that she always will try her best she wanted to succeed and that's how a lot of mexicans and latino americanos are we want to succeed we don't care about what kind of job it is we're gonna try to do it we're gonna try our best so um she wanted like she tried out so many jobs she got fired because either no sabía cómo hacer su trabajo o también por cómo um que llegaba la migra so um <laughs> something that was really funny it was how she said she mentioned and i actually can, re can relate to this because when i came to the united states i didn't know how to speak english at all like i could understand but i didn't know how to speak english so she said that she lasted a month just eating coffee and donuts <laughs> so i remember that when i came here to the united states i didn't know how to order a lot of things when i will go to mcdonald's or starbucks i didn't know how to order so i would just get the same thing the whole time until one of my cousins actually was the one who was like hey like why you always get that have you tried something else and i was like no i just know how to order this i just know how to order and spicy mac chicken i just know how to order a caramel frappuccino i just know how to order something like a specific and so that's how you do it you know you try to go in like in your comfort zone and then they may not understand you so sometimes you will rather just say what you know how to say instead of getting in trouble you know so that's something that i actually relate to also um uh also how i mentioned the fbi was trying to get at her porque pensaban que era peligrosa, porque no actuaba como las demás personas, pero en realidad solamente era la ignorancia de María y la manera en la que ella veía todo con mucha inocencia también. Ella no pensaba uh, que alguien le podía hacer algo malo. She just, she was just pursuing her dreams. She didn't care about anything other than her dreams and succeed. And yeah. Um, also, at the end, I just love the way that she was just wanted to come back to Mexico. Trataron de deportarla, and even though her patrones tried to, like, talk to the immigration, like, try to defend her, they tried to, like, help her stay, so she could pursue it. She was just, like, I think que ya estaba cansada, ya estaba cansada de la manera en que la trataban, ya estaba cansada de having so many jobs and not be able to keep one. So I think que everything just really influenced influenced maria and she missed mexico and this is something that i just love because i know how a lot of people just come to the united states work and then they want to go back to mexico quieren volver a su país quieren volver a su lugar de origen so this was something that maria really wanted to when um her patron is trying to convince and the police to uh stay she was like, no, she talked to them privately and she was like, no, like, uh, I want to go back, you know, like, I miss my pueblo, I miss my family. So the way that that she preferred to go back, even though she didn't have, like, all this amount of money, she didn't have, like, all what she wanted, it just shows how, like, how, like, you can go back to Mexico and even though if you, if the immigration, um, Si te deportaron, you know, like, just by being in Mexico, being in tu país, estar alrededor de tu gente, can be so much better than being alone. And even though you have money sometimes, I feel like if you know where you belong to, you're just, you no eres tu mismo, you know yourself. So, um, yeah, this is how the movie actually ended. Um, she was deportada, and <laughs> Maria still make fun of, um, everything. Um, le preguntaron que si uh, era un destapador o something like that. And she mentioned like, no, like, uh, <laughs> estoy deportada. So she, even though it was like a really sad moment for her and for us watching the movie, like seeing how Maria didn't accomplish all her dreams. Como tuvo tantos trabajos y ninguno fue un éxito. Como todo lo que pasó, las burlas, la discriminación. She will make, she will make a tragic moment a fun moment. So I just love that. I love this movie. This is a movie that I will always watch. And I'm hoping that my son gets to enjoy it once too. Because I definitely want him to grow up. But like watching these movies that help you embrace your country. And also like that you that I relate to this. You can actually relate to so many moments of Maria. Like how sometimes like it's just another country. And yeah. So 
it's just amazing how Maria was able to like well at least get to know the United States and go back to Mexico and yeah thank you